I think everybody's looking for a deal right now, especially since ain't no stimulus check coming. Pandemic is still live and well. Corona, AKA the crown is floating everywhere. And we still want to smell good, even though we're behind a face mask. So let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you on to five or my fragrances that are budget that I think you should cop. Blessing morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. I'm a fan of the House of Armagh. Not all their fragrances, but a big bulk of them. They're super cheap. They're synthetic as fuck, but they do the job, and some fragrances do the job very well. Not to mention, most of them shits is under 40 30 even in the $20 range so anybody who's looking for that cost-effective smell goods this might be the video for you if not just go somewhere else and this might be one of the first videos that I'm gonna do without the actual bottles in hand because I'm in some you know movement type shit situation so the first fragrance is none other than our moths newest release that I have in my acquisition which is milestone now milestone is Millicene Imperial clone and really really a solid fragrance by the house of Armand. Now, this was the inspiration by me even doing this video today because it would happen to be my scent of the day. And it's progressively gotten better the more that I've worn it. I don't know if it's macerating a little bit more in the bottle. Maybe the temperature and my pH levels are all fucking having a nice orgy and it just smells fantastic. But that sweet bergamot, musky, salty, aquatic, yet fruit cocktailish kind of vibe that I get from this fragrance is awesome bro on my skin today it was hitting and it's been hitting for over seven hours which is surprising for a fragrance that's under 50 bucks it's gonna eventually get down but it still has a little bit of a hype behind it so it's still up there in price point but so far it is the best millicene imperial clone that is out there love and luck by ed hardy is lit but this shit is fire next one the next one is the ever popular the originator of the whole armav trend Clubbed in a weed intense for men. The original Aventus clone on a budget. Like the shit is still able to be found in that 20 to 25 dollar range. And if you're able to get one of the original ones, which I don't know what batch code or whatever, because I don't give a fuck about that, but the original ones were just hitting so good. I hear that there's either a, a UAE version and a French version, some shit like that. I don't know what version is what. I don't know who's the bootleg and who's the original, but back in the day, that shit was such a good Aventus clone. And there's a lot of people who still truly enjoy that shit, especially for the collective bunch. I've given a few people during the holidays that bottle, including my own. I don't even know where mine is. It might still be in storage. And everybody who's worn it has loved it. Granted, they haven't been part of the fragrance bubble, but a lot of the people that I'm around aren't around the fragrance bubble either, so they appreciate anything that smells awesome. Club Dinner Weed Intense for men, definitely an Armaf you should have. Next one. The next one is one that I take credit for making it a super duper hype fucking beast and that's Armaf's Le Parfait. Le Parfait is a combination of Aventus and Green Irish Tweed. More on the Green Irish Tweed vibe if you're giving it a little fruity pineapple essence or a bit of a bergamot punch, then that's what you're getting from Le Parfait. Le Parfait is one of them shits that you don't mind spraying under your man's sweaty tits and all that shit and wearing outside and smelling like a million dollars. I think it's a fantastic synthetic little bomb that smells amazing and just gets the job done. One of the things about Armaf fragrances at least the majority of them, is they get the shit done on a very cheap budget. Not all of them hit, not all of them perform, not all of them are awesome, but the ones that I'm mentioning, I personally truly enjoy, have had a blast wearing, and have received some compliments on some of them. Granted, I'm not a compliment getting dude, nor am I looking for them, and truth be told, you're probably not gonna get much compliments because who are you around right now? Next one. The next one is one of the ugliest bottles in our mob, but I love the fragrance. As soon as I got that shit, it was an instant, instant hit. And that's none other than our mobs. Hunter Intense, AKA the bitch with the man bro. This fragrance is a combination of Sauvage mixed with like a Dylan Blue, mixed with a sprinkle of like Invictus. It has that mass appealing club hopper, young individual bomb that a lot of people are looking for. It is a compliment monster for those who are looking for the compliments. If you wanna consider it a panty dropper, sure, go ahead. Maybe a boxer dropper for all yours, no judgments. But the fact is that the shit is an Ambroxan beast. The shit is powerful. It's got the DNA that everybody's looking 
looking for. It's sweet, it's loud, it's more clubby, more nighttime, citrusy, spicy, sweet, cardamom bomb, a little bit of a like a lemon lime combination, but it's really a youthful, mass appealing, night going out fragrance that won't break the bank. Our Moth Hunter Intense, definitely a solid, solid choice if you're looking for some Armav mass appeal shit. Last and certainly not least, it's none other than Armav Craze Noir. Armav Craze Noir is kinda sorta, but not really Pegasus, like a darker Parfume de Marly type Pegasus, but I feel like the almondy notes in it are a little bit darker and it just has a smokier element that really makes it a nice seductive masculine scent. It's very close comfort, close situation, which is something that you really can't have right now because you gotta keep six feet of distance and then you might get the COVID and then she might breathe on you and spit all over the place but you really wanna spit on your knob. It's just not something that's conducive to CDC guidelines but it is a beautiful up close sensual fragrance. Nutty, woody, smoky, light, like light puffs and little pillows of like smoky essences that just make it so sexy. Like if you found the cheapest like incense or bakar and just burned it up from like a far, far distance, that's something that you would get on the Pegasus-esque clone. But it really, it's Pegasus adjacent and like far adjacent. I think it's a absolutely sexy, sensual, dark and lovely, mysterious kind of a vibe for a cheap, cheap price. I'm talking like 30, 25 dollars. Like we all on a budget famski. These are fragrances for the budget. These aren't for the enthusiasts. These aren't for the collectors. This is for literally the motherfucker who's just doing what he can do to make ends meet, but still doesn't want to deprive himself of smelling awesome, smelling sexy, and building some self-confidence without having to break the bank. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, damn, did I eat today? Or should I buy this $300 bottle of fucking cologne? I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Let me know any other armas that you absolutely love. Leave them in the comments below. Share this shit, thumbs up. Put a finger up your ass, whatever you want to do. And I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what it is? Biggest in the game. Smooches. Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Who buy? For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag. When it's time to call back, it's lost since you never get in. It's lost since you would think that you.